So hi guys, my name is Nicholas Walken from Karua Shapes. Um, I want to introduce to you the, our splitboard line. Um, we have the classic line, which are the whiteboards, and the plus line, the more high-end line. Um, classic line is for sure um, something good to use for like shorter splitboard missions out of the resort. Um, two, three hour hikes, one hour hikes, short, um, get that powder in the, from a bit further out in the resort. And we have the, the tranny finder shape here, which is a, mo a more all round shape for like backcountry freestyle, but also turns really nicely. And we have the, the pencil shape in a split as well, which is a nice board like for sole turning out there. Um, this will take you anywhere, but um, like what I usually ride is the escalator, which is a really high-end, super light board. Um, it's also a bit more focused on the uphill because there's a bit less taper in the nose, which makes it um, walk easier in the tracks. And we also have these slits in here, so when you're walking in ski mode, you, you don't get uh, caught up in the skin track if it's icy. And I just, yeah, I really like that board, especially the weight is key for me. Um, if you're walking for four hours, you're gonna notice every gram, that's for sure. And it also performs really nicely downhill. It's pretty, like a surfy feel, it's not too stiff. Um, my personal favorite. Yeah, that's our flipboard line. We have two lengths. Um, uh, this 57 and the 62 on the escalator, so you can choose. So, can you please explain the boards and which is the best use case for it? Is it like for high alpine or for free ride, freestyle? Mm. So this would be good yeah. for the customers as well to understand which the boards are best for. Yeah, so as you see we have like white and black ones. So the white line is kind of our classic line. And it's more focused on like shorter touring or maybe out of the ski resort where you hike an hour or two. So the black line is more the high performance line. It's super light. Um, we put a little bit more taper, a little bit less taper on the escalator, our new model. So it's easier, more focused to hike up because all our other boards have a lot of taper. They're more focused on the riding down. And um, yeah, personally, I've been using the escalator a lot. It's still great performance downhill, but you really notice like for longer tours, hiking for four hours, it really makes a big difference. And um, yeah, the escalator is kind of an all round shape, so um, you can ride everything with it. Whereas like the tranny finder is for sure more of a backcountry freestyle and also turning it kind of combines all of those things together. And uh, the pencil is more of a um, kind of focusing on turns and soul riding, soul turns. Okay. That's kind of the concept behind them. Okay, why, why should I buy a Korua board and not a different brand? And it's about the shape, like we're about turning um, and we just want to make boards that turn really well, are easy to ride, um, but also offer high performance quality you know mm -hmm. and yeah I think uh, we all like split boarding a lot we're putting a lot of a um, lot of time and energy to developing our split boards and I think you can feel it when you ride them and I think yeah, that's nice. that's a reason for buying a Karua. How many years years can I expect to use one of your split boards? How many years? Yeah. I mean it depends on how many rocks you're gonna hit. I'm, yeah, you know, right. yeah. Uh, if you but take, if I'm lucky and I don't hit rocks, I just go like. Well, if you never hit a rock, you can probably grind it down to the base. If you do a lot of tuning on it, it yeah. won't hold as long. I mean, for sure, the the classic line will last you longer because it's more robust. Yeah. And with the lighter boards, you you use less material, so obviously they don't last as long if you hit a rock or something. Okay, yeah, I understand. But you know, they're me, more it, delicate. If I imagine I'm just a usual split border who goes like five or ten tours a year, 
So if I think in years, so do I have to buy a new split board every five years, every seven? You know, do I have a kind of comparison regarding altimeters, maybe 100,000 altimeters and then the car is getting a little bit softer? Or yeah, I mean, most brands around are using the same kind of core. It's mostly popular and yeah. I mean, if you ride a super stiff board, it's going to last you a lot longer because it's thicker and there's more fibers in there that take longer to break. If you buy a super soft board, it's going to become even more soft faster. So I think it's kind of... Okay. And so if you buy a heavy board that's more strong, it'll last you longer, like our classic line. And uh, the more high-end, uh, super light ones, they just don't last as long. Okay. And yeah, what about the designs? You said it's pretty clear designs, but what about the rainbow-colored unicorns or the cats and dogs? Like the people want to see, you know, about the social media, like dog pictures, cat pictures, always go get lots of likes. Yeah. What about I don't that? know. We, we kind of like the, the kind of simple style. Yeah. And it, it doesn't feel like it gets old after a year. So yeah. we hope our customers also use the boards longer then and um, it's also easier for us we don't have to like resell it super cheap at the end of the season just to get rid of boards we just keep them and send sell them the next year you know yeah for and me, I think from my point of view maybe it has to do with the majority of the market the people are getting older and they don't want all these screaming yeah. designs anymore no I'd, I'd rather have a board that the energy is focused into making the board ride well and function well, yeah. then tons of energy in like a new design every year because yeah. it's a lot of work that goes in there. If you categorize your sustainability from one, no sustainability thoughts at all, up to 10, super sustainable, where would you just rank your, your board, more or less? Um, I mean, we are partner with 1% of the planet, so 1% of okay, all our turnover goes to 1%. Yeah. And I think that's one of the biggest things you can do as a brand, because building snowboards, like there's no true green snowboard out there. Yeah. Um, and I think it's one of the most honest ways to, to give back to the planet. But also we are working with a soup, um, bioresin now. Mm -hmm. We just started this year with the, with the factory. Okay. And um, the carryover thing, that's uh, what we're doing now. And we plan to do more in the future. Yeah, how do you develop? I mean, you are always out in the mountains, split boarding, testing and stuff. You give feedback, I imagine. Yeah. And then, then you just go developing the boards by one prototype, two, three, or over the years. Can you explain this a little bit? It's always individual. Like certain boards just take longer to get to get to work, or, or just find that to get to that point where you're like, okay, now it's ready to go. Yeah. And other boards go go faster. Okay. Um, yeah. It's it's always individual. We had boards that took like two years to develop, and others that took like a year. The potentially customers. Uh, what should they do if they have some issues? And we know it's just a production and sometimes there happen production issues and yeah, if you deliver the board, even if you have great quality control, it can happen. It happens and you just uh, send us an email over, takes a picture of, of the damage or the issue you have with the board yeah. so we can kind of get an idea of it and it'll probably get what warranty if it's a warranty case. Yeah. And if not, it's probably your own fault. So it's not that I have to send the board to you, you just take no, the picture I'm, and you check everything? And usually, okay. a, a picture is enough. In certain cases where it's hard to, to see from the picture, you might send the board back. And yeah, which is the best way to buy one of your boards? Is it a shop? Is it directly on your web page? Or what should Anything I do? Anything works. I we have a, a shop finder on the website, so you can see your local shop. Um, I think it's always good to get like personal advice on, on what board to get. Or you can write an email to our customer service on the website. Okay. And just order on the website. It goes both ways. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hey, Hope thank to you. See you in the mountains. Yeah.